What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. We got ourselves a banger of a video today. We're back. Play it's Pokemon Sword and Shield. And we got a team sent in by one of you guys. My boy Justin sent this in in my Instagram DM. So shout out to you. Thank you so much for dropping this one. We got ourselves a Weakness Policy Metagross and a Swift Swim Kingdra team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. But yo, this team's looking like it's popping. It's looking really, really strong. We got ourselves in our top left corner. We got Zapdos with that Assault Vest, Static Ability, Thunder, Heat Wave, Hurricane, and Weather Ball. A bunch of different coverage moves with two stab moves. So it's going to be awesome. He's going to be able to rock out pretty strong and eat up special attacks due to its item. Right next to him, we got Grimmsnarl with that full Incense Prankster ability with that trick. We actually been seeing a lot of this Grimmsnarl on the rank ladder, so I kind of like it. I kind of with it. We got Reflect also for physical attackers. We got Spirit Break and Fake Tears drop special defense. Right behind my face cam, the one and only Life Orb Swift Swim King. Just thinks an absolute beast. Once you get it going in the rain, it can hit like a truck and just outspeed to everything. We got Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, Draco Meteor, and Protect. Right next to him is the Pokemon that pairs with it. Sets the rain, Politoe with Drizzle, Citrus Berry, normal move set for this thing with Protect, Helping Hands, Scald, and Bulldoze actually slow down other Pokemon. Bottom left corner is Tornadus, nice little prankster Pokemon. We have two of them on the scene with the Focus Ash. You can actually set up Tailwind. It can taunt as Hurricane for when it's in the rain and Brutal Swing to actually proc the Metagross's weakness policy. Metagross is our final Pokemon with its Steel and Psychic type with the Clear Body and then move set of Iron Head, Protect, Rock Slide, and Stomping Tantrum. Guys, you want to try this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after this. Let's get hopping on to that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. Seeing a little bit of a mirror matchup with both Metagrosses, but this guy also has the Grim Snarl as well, Entei, Galarian Moltres, Rotom Wash, and Porygon 2. But guys, since Christmas has just passed and if you guys celebrate it, let me know in the comment section down below how was you guys' Christmas. Seriously, let me know if you guys got any gifts, what did you guys do, because by the time I'm recording this, it is actually not Christmas, it is actually December 23rd, but I'm planning this video to come out after Christmas. But probably what I'm going to be doing is just going to be spending time with family, friends, you know, unwrapping some presents in the morning, then rolling out from there just having a good time. But seriously, I would love to know how you guys' Christmas went, what you guys got, or what you guys did on it. But rocking out here in our first battle, who should we lead? Who should we lead? I kind of want to lead our Metagross with our Tornadus. Maybe protect Tailwind kind of roll from there. Proc the weakness policy and get after it. But this guy also has Entei. He also does have that Entei, which is kind of scary. I could go Grim Snarl and Kingdra. Protect Kingdra turn once. Throw a what's called over on somebody. Trick. Then roll into Rain Squad. That's not bad. But then Metagross is... Hmm, I kind of want... I want Metagross. We're going to go Tornadus, Metagross. Try to get rolling with that. And then in the back end, do we go Grimmy? We could go Grimmy. I definitely want Zapdos in the back end. Zapdos, baby. Because we got that electric. We can absolutely dump on that Moltres. And then do I just bring Kingdra for coverage? Or do I bring Grimstone for like a nice little support mod? I kind of just want Kingdra for coverage. I feel like that's a little bit better. Can't set a Trick Room. If he is going to go for a Trick Room, I can just taunt off with the Tornadus. But I'm just going to bring Kingdra in the back end for a... Uh, just a nice little coverage mod. It could probably outspeed a decent amount. And it hits pretty hard. But yeah, you can roll two ways with this team. You can roll with the Rain Squad, or you can roll with the Metagross Weakness Policy. I just feel like the Metagross Weakness Policy is going to rock out a little bit better than Rain here. But what I like to do with the Rain is uh, go uh, Kingdra and Grimmsnarl. Potentially Trick and then get the Politoed out there. Then roll from there. But he goes Grimmsnarl and... Okay. Grimmsnarl and Porygon. So uh, I think I just taunt this thing. I might just Protect and Taunt. I think that's the play. He he's probably going to Trick my item. Hmm. He's probably going to Trick my item. That is probably what is going to happen. But I am going to taunt the Porygon 2 first. And then I might just taunt the... Uh, the protect. Yeah, I got to protect here. Yeah, I'm going I'm to protect here. I'm going to taunt the Porygon 2. He's probably going to try to trick my item with the Grimstarl. I can definitely see that coming. So I'm going to taunt Porygon 2. And then next turn, I'm going to taunt the Grimstarl. And then try to just Dynamax and roll out with like Steel Spike or something like that. I think that's the play. I think he's going for Trick, trick Room. Right? Taunt's coming out here. Get over here, boy. Let me taunt you. Let me tell you something. Let me say, hey, yo, you can't do that. You're going to fall for a taunt. And this thing's going to set up a reflect. Okay. We think this thing's rocking trick? We think this thing's rocking trick. Oh. He predicts a taunt. All right. Now do I brutal... Okay. Now what's the call? Do I brutal swing? Do I proc policy? Or do I set up a tailwind? I think we, I think we already outspeed all you guys. So I think I just proc policy. And I get after this thing. And I get after it. And I just start boosting defense. I think that's the play. I think we just start boosting defense here. I think we just set up with the Metagross. And I mean, if you if you keep my boy in there, if you keep my boy up in here, that's fine. I could have taunted the Grimstone. He might set up a light stream, but 
I think I'm fine with this one. I think I'm fine. I think we get Zapdos in it over here. After this, and we get one with that. He is gonna swap. That's fine with me. He's gonna go into Rotom. That's fine. If Grimstarl doesn't go after my Tornas, that that that's even better. That would be even better. Hopefully, he doesn't go into a trick this turn. If he goes into a trick this turn, that would be very very smart, and and a nice play by him to set up the reflect first. Probably predicting my protect. Let's see what he does. What are you gonna do? You could go for a sucker punch. You gonna do kind sir? You're gonna go for a light screen. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. You can go for. You can set up your screens, man. Oh, that means we can get off Tailwind after this. That's beautiful. That's absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna be able to do that. Rock my policy, right? Yes, sir. Give me my policy, baby. Give it to me. Brutal swing pops out here. We're gonna get after it. We're gonna get after it. I think we should still be able to take out this uh, Crimson Arrow here. Super effective. We get the defense boost as well. Pop. Get him out of my face. Beautiful. And then I set up Tailwind after this and we get rolling. The Metagross is pretty much set up. We're doing just fine with it. Unless he comes in with somebody who can, uh, I think who can take out my uh, my Tornadus before we do get off the table. But we are prankster. We need somebody with a first turn priority move. Unless he brought brings his Metagross, which is Rock and Bullet Punch, maybe potentially. But then I can just max Quake on. I'm gonna outspeed it all day. We'll outspeed it. Let's see. He goes into his own Metagross, so he is gonna Dynamax that. Um. Okay, that's fine by me. But get it after that. Yeah, I think I just taunt. I think I just taunt and I get after him. I'm plus one on uh, defensive board. Do I proc his policy? I say we get after him. What time's kind of posing a threat here too. But I could get a defensive boost over here. Mm. I'd rather just get get that special defense. That'd probably be a little bit better. What time could have ally switch? What time could have ally switch? But I feel like this is our best move. Do I just drop the rock? I feel like we just go for this. I can see a Dynamax coming from him, right? Yeah, he's going to Dynamax. We're going to be able to get off a Tailwind, which is actually really, really nice. We'll be able to get off a lovely little Tailwind. And again, I do have Kingdra in the back, but I need to get rid of that Rotom. Oh, he's going to Dynamax Rotom. Okay. I'm with it. He can Dynamax Rotom. That's a little bit better. I feel like that Metagross posed a bigger threat on me. If he Dynamax, he probably could eat up a Max Quake and proc his own weakness policy. If he's rolling with that. Tailwind's going to pop. We're going to say bye-bye to this Metagross. 100% that thing's out my face. Then I could just uh start dropping hurricanes, try to get confusion, try to get ducks. But yeah, you're gone, and we're gonna get plus one on special defense, which is huge, especially up against a Rotom Wash. Big old special attacking Pokemon. We get a crit, ooey baby. I don't think we need the crit. I think we're dumping on that thing anyway. So we're plus one on both defenses, plus two on both attacks. Come on, man. Metagross is set up, and we got Tailwind speed boosted, so that's like we're plus two in speed boost. Next guy's just gonna come out here, and you're gonna set the lane for my Kingdra, man. And you're gonna do that. I love to see it. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're gonna eat that up like a tank. Um, that's the thing. I think we have to start dropping rocks on this thing. Really depends who who's last mine is. I drop a rock. Oh, and Hurricane's gonna hit 100% of the time. That is huge. That is huge. You love to see it. We're gonna gonna pop in here. Um, do I duck that thing? I think I just taunt that thing. I think I just taunt it. I think I feel like the only way he wins is if he sets up a trick room, right? If we taunt that thing. We're kind of thriving. I think I just drop a rock. I don't. I don't want to change weather. I really don't want to change weather. Let me get another special defense boost. But we're gonna taunt this thing just in case it's able to eat up everything. You get a little bit of taunt, but that special defense boost is a little bit bigger. Especially both these Pokemon are special attacking. I'd rather just start boosting my defense. We're gonna taunt this thing. Get it out of here. I probably should drop the Hurricane. It was 100% onto the Rotom slot. He probably knows that I'm going for a taunt. But Trick Room might be his last option. But we still are starting to, and we're just thriving. This thing eats it up all day, but special defense boost is huge. It is enormous. What are you going for, kind sir? He's probably going to go for another geyser cross, and he might throw an ice beam. Hopefully he's going for a trick room. I'm going to go for the geyser. It's fair. Meta girl should be able to eat this up, no problem. Eat it, Meta. Thank you. Easy snacks right there. Porygon's going to go for a try attack. That's fine. All right, so now I go... Do I double up into Porygon? Nah, I feel like I have to go for a hurricane and try to get ducks on Rotom. Maybe get a big old confusion. And then I get after uh, him with, the, with an Iron Head. But yeah, we're just looking for the Ducks over on that thing. Maybe I should have doubled up on the Porygon. Might protect. But still, he's, he set the rain. And Kingdra can come in here and drop big moves on Rotom. Do some work on it. Rotom will probably take out my Metagross this turn. But still, as long as we get off these two shots, I think we should be thriving. 
Because again, I have the Kingdra. And then who was my final Pokemon? And the Zapdos. Okay. Fair. Give me the ducks. Show them to me. That's what I'm looking for. No ducks? What you mean? What you mean? Give me the flinch at least if we don't KO. Okay, we just KO. Beautiful. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get it, yo. Critting up in here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. And Max Lightning's going to pop through. We're on the Metagross. Why'd you switch to Max Lightning? That was dumb. That was dumb. You had the clean KO. I guess he wants the terrain. But the clean KO with the Geyser. I guess he wanted the terrain, man. He just set up for both of my next Pokemon. I have a Hurricane with my Zapdos. And that's the Electric Train helps him out. And Swift Swim Kingdra. So he basically just set up the other one. But this match is over. He's definitely going to cancel this one out. I'm just going to uh, Hurricane up on him and drop a big old... Mm, I guess we're going to have to drop a Rock Slide. I want to drop the Iron Head, but Rock Slide it is. Rock Slide it is, baby. He's going to cancel, I think. Clean Sweep? Cancel this battle. Cancel this battle. Cancel this battle. I want to 4-0 you. I want to 4-0 you, man. Get this video started on a strong note. Bro, dude, this dude protects, bro. <laughs> Can't make this up, man. Hate this game. <laughs> this dude protects, man. He's not going to let me get my 4-0. He's not letting it happen. Get him out of here. All right, Tailwind. Peter. You want to play that game? You want to play that game? I'm a Tailwind here. Yeah, I'm a Tailwind, and I'm an Iron Head you, and you're going to flinch, and then we're going to get after you. you really going to do this? I'm a Tailwind again. You want to play with me, and I'm going to get this lucky flinch. I'm feeling good. I got two crits from meta today. Give me the flinch now. Give me the flinch. Give it to me. No, he doesn't flinch, man. Get him out of here. <laughs> Ruins my 4-0. Ruins my 4-0. Now we're bringing out Kingdra. You, you want the smoke? Actually, uh, rain should stop here. Yep, rain stop. Which means the boy's coming out. Zippy Zap. Zippy Zap's coming out. Actually, no, I'd rather have Kingdra here with a Draco Meteor. Get Kingdra up in here. Dude, really? This dude really did that. This dude really still in the game. He's like, oh, I still have a chance. What happens if Kingdra misses and Metagross misses and Kingdra misses again? Metagross also misses, Zapdos misses twice, and I land all my shots. I would win. <laughs> that's that's this guy's theory right now. But yeah, I feel like I had the Straco Meteor Rock Slide should be able to finish this one off. Yeah. Yeah, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Life Orb damage too. Doing some damage. KO this thing. Does not. Rock Slide should be able to come in here and pick it up. Drop my special attack, yo. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. He has the berry. He ain't playing around. <laughs> this dude ain't playing. If he has Discharge, he has Shot, but Rock Slide comes in and it misses. Oh, yo. Chill on me. <laughs> you have the Kingdra, please. Yo, oh, hold up. Hold up. Yo, what is going on? If I, if, yo, if I lose this battle. <laughs> no way I'm losing this battle. No way. Got my soul fest out here. Mm, not dealing with it. Not dealing with it. Nah, I'm not, not dealing with this. Let's go. Let's get it. Thunder coming out of here. We both, <laughs> we both miss. And he like picks up a double kill somehow. That this use Thunder. Yo. 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 What is going on? What is going on? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Not one bit. Not one bit. <laughs> I'm not liking this. Come on. Just land your attacks. Thank you. KO? We don't have terrain anymore. Maybe KO still? Thank you, Zapdos. I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> but there we go. Finally, after that little little scuffle at the end, we pick up that win. We get one and now we can hop to our second battle. Looking to get a win streak rolling here. This guy's got Heatran, Dust Clops, Galarian Moltres, Draco Fish. That thing's always scary. Regilecki and Kartana. Okay. How should I roll? I kind of want to roll rain. I kind of want to roll rain here. Because I can, uh, let's go Grimmy Poo. Get Kingdra out here. Polito definitely. And then in the final spot, Metagross? Or is that? I think Metagross actually is a lot better. Metagross is just an absolute beast all around. Um, hmm. I think we can just get off here. We can trick. We can set up a Reflect, which would be huge. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. And then Metagross in that final spot. I really don't think we need Tailwind or the Taunt. I mean, we, ooh, Taunt could be good. Taunt could be very, very good. Hmm. Let's get after it. Let's get after this. I'm with it. I'm with it. I can always just uh, trick the Dust Cops, take its Evo Light, and potentially Dynamax and one tap it. Is that a thing? Can we do that with a, with a nice big old geyser? 
But yeah, probably smarter play would be for me to go in the Tornadus in this matchup, but I really want to show off the Rain Squad. Let's see. Don't go Dust Cops, please. Okay, he doesn't. He's going to go these two, which I'm totally fine with. I'm going to... Who do I trick? Who do I trick? These guys can both be choice. Um... Who am I slowing down? I think I slow down the Kartana? No, Kartana, it's... I'm not really worried about Kartana, too. Actually, I kind of want to slow down that Kartana. Yeah, let's slow down the Kartana. Let's just protect you. I'm liking this. Let's slow down the Kartana. Get after it. And then I might, I might set up a Reflect and set Rain on my own. Come to my trick. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Give me that item. Let me, let me slow you down there, Kartana. Let me slow you down there, buddy. There you go. We get his Focus Sash, which is wonderful. Fish Rain's going to pop out here. There you go. Eat that up, baby. Our town's gonna use Leaf Blade. We're gonna protect. Uh, I think I set up a Reflect and set the ring myself. For the play. Reflect's gonna be huge. Good Worm Wind, but it's not very effective on both. Actually, let's go here. Let's just go. Let's just Worm Wind this thing. Let's take this thing out. I'd rather get off this Reflect and then we can uh, go Drizzle next turn. I kinda like it. I'm with it. I'm with it 100%. Because. Do we outspeed? We're gonna outspeed the Kartana, which is huge. So we're definitely gonna get the uh, special attack drop on that thing. Reflect's gonna come, or the physical attack. And then we're gonna have the Reflect, so we should be able to eat up just Danny just fine. Be just chilling. That Kartana's full. It's belly stuff. There goes my nice little Reflect. Yeet. I feel a sneeze coming. A little weird. Let me pinch the nose. Try to get rid of it. I don't wanna sneeze on camera. You guys already know the deal. Fisherman's gonna come out here. We should be able to eat that up again. Thank you very much, Mr. Reflect. Here comes my worm win. We're gonna take out the Draco fish and we're gonna get that minus one on that uh on that Kartana. So big plays. I'm gonna swap out my boy now. Get the rain rolling. Actually, it really depends who he brings out. It really does depend who he brings out. Because if it's some someone I already outspeed, then we don't need the rain. We don't need it at all. And this thing's gonna go for Shaker Sword. Alright, we're just gonna rain it up anyway. Regardless. Okay, he's gonna start beast boosting. Uh let's get after. Let's 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 get after this thing. He's gonna go. He's gonna go back up the even. I could just minus it again, but I'm gonna get out Polly too. Get out Polly too. Let's get this rain rolling, baby. I ain't dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it at all. Moltres gonna come out here. Alright, we gotta get after that. Thing. We gotta get that thing out of here. I think I geyser. He's probably just gonna leaf blade up on me. I think I have to geyser just try to get after that thing. Do I helping hand geyser? A helping hand geyser. What do I protect? I could totally just protect. He's gonna do more. I said we go, I said we go into a geyser. I don't want a helping hand, but we know he's gonna leaf blade across. So I'm just gonna protect my polyzer this turn. Be fine with it. He's probably gonna Dynamax and Moltres. Oh, he does not. He'd love to see it. I love it. I love it. Protect my boy. He's definitely leaf blading over there. We're gonna be able to get off this geyser. And I think this should KO this thing. Life orb, stab. In the rain. Get out of my face. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, big place. The uh, protect read, I'm almost guaranteed that I made it right. You gotta be going for a leaf blade in the mid, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go, jeans. Let's go, baby. Rain team thriving. Rain team is thriving. Alright, so he has Kartana and Heatran. Okay. 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 I see you. Heatran has air balloons. Gold is super effective. Hmm. Who's he done next? He might guard. He might guard. In that case, I think I'm gonna just skull him. It's just, I, I wanna drop this and get that minus one. No, we're gonna go for the burn. Actually, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go for a scald over here. Look for the burn on the Kartana slot. And then we're going off the heat train. He's gonna die next. Is it gonna be Kartana? It's gonna be heat train. Okay. Hopefully, he doesn't guard. If he doesn't guard, this should be a big damage. Maybe potential KO. Is this gonna be Heatran? It's not Kartana. But at least we went out uh, two separate ways with our shots, just in case he doesn't. But if he doesn't, right? That, that's your fault, buddy. That is your fault. Let's see what he does. He is gonna guard. All right, that's fair. That's totally fine by me. All right. I just didn't want to not put an attack on this thing in case he didn't guard. So I was gonna come out. Can we get the burn? That'd be absolutely huge. He's gonna go up. Oh, that's nice damage right there. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. No burn. And Leaf Blade's gonna take us out. He's gonna go plus one now. Oh no, Leaf Blade does not. Thank you, Mr. Reflect. Thank you, Mr. Reflect. Polito eats up like a champ. 
like a champ and he eats his berry so another skull takes that thing out and i just hydro pump on this left side i'm liking this i'm liking this let's get it skull takes out cortana and hydro pump potentially takes out heat heat train for the game show it to me baby let's get started two and out come on come on let's start me off two and out we eating right now we eating right now. hydro pump yoy get it out my face dude Dynamax max heat train stands no chance man Stands no chance to the heavy hydro pump stab in the rain. Super effective and life orb damage. That's all boosted. That is all boosted. Skull's gonna come in here from the polytone and say GG. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. GG 2 and 0. We're gonna hop into our third and final battle. Look for. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Turn off your console, my dude. Turn it off. That's what's up. But we're gonna hop into our third and final battle, like I was saying, and try to get ourselves a perfect record for today's video. This dude has Cantonian Moltres, and it just looks so weird in this little sprite. I'm just so used to seeing Galarian Moltres, but I still absolutely love that Pokemon. And he has Skunk Tank. Ooh. All right. I'm liking this. I'm liking seeing new Pokemon. He has uh, Tornadus, Blastoise, Tapu Koko, and Latias. All right. I like it. I'm with it. But some one of my fans or somebody who watches the videos sent in on the Instagram DMs a team of Reds team from original Pokemon. It's uh, all the starters with Pikachu and then two others. Who else was it? I totally forget, but the team looks amazing. I cannot wait to get after it. I'm going to be using it on a video. I think it has Lapras and one other one. The Dragonite? No, I don't think it's Dragonite. Mm, it's not Dragonite. But no, the team looks awesome. I cannot wait to get after it. It's Pikachu. It's Pikachu, three starters, Lapras. No, and one other one. I, I, I can't think of it. I cannot think of it right now. But we're looking for this perfect record. I got 30 seconds to pick. Um, I think I just set up Tailwind. I think we go with the Metagross combo. Metagross, yeah. My goodness, we kind of showed off everybody already. Um, I definitely want Zapdos in on this, uh, on this squadron. And then Kingdra or Grimstar? I think Kingdra kind of rocks out here. Yeah, same team as we won with the first one. But we got to show off every single Pokemon on this team, which is awesome. Like I said, you can go two ways with it. It's Rain or Metagross. Rain, Metagross. You, you decide which one you guys want to play it as. And this team's actually really, really strong. Really, really good. We're 2-0. I feel like it's easy to play, too. You either proc policy or you kind of just, like, set the Rain. <laughs> it's pretty simple. It's not too hard to play, and, and it works out pretty well. Now, the thing is, I don't know what, he, what what he's doing. I have no clue what you were doing here. Kind sir, please let me know what you were doing. You have Skunk Tank over here, which I don't know what the heck it does. Kind of scaring me, not even going to lie. I'm going to set up this Tailwind. I'm just going to protect. I'm just going to protect. Let's, let's, let's see what happens here. My Shell Smash, I just don't know what Skunk Tank even does. I just have no idea. I could taunt that Skunk Tank, but... Like, hey. What does it do? I feel like it's just like a support mod for this play. So he set up like Shell Smash. Like, i never seen one on the rank ladder before. I usually don't. The last time I remember seeing this thing is like in Diamond and Pearl. Seeing it be like, I don't want that thing. I don't want it. Get it out of here. I don't want it. <laughs> but I feel like it has a trick up its sleeve. And it's just going to throw it at me. Dump on me. Let's see. Let's see. He's taking a while. He's thinking. He's like, yo, this, this boy Jeans has Metagross out here. He's, he's, a, he's a tough customer. This thing got a shell smash is a real question. That one's setting. I really don't mind if it's shell smash. We outspeed it now. Actually, do we outspeed it? It's getting a speed boost. It's getting a speed boost. It does shell smash. Defense is dropping. And, hmm. I think I got a Dynamax by Metagross. Get after you. And what is Skunk Tank doing? Like, I'm a little confused with what he's doing. Here goes his white herb. He's gonna haze. And what did that do? Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. That might have been the dumbest play I ever seen. That right there might have been the dumbest play I have ever seen. That might have been the dumbest play I ever seen. I am not even going to lie. That might have been the dumbest play I have ever seen. <laughs> that was the dumbest play I've, I think I've ever seen. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quake over here. Take out Skunk Tank. That was the dumbest play I've ever seen. What, what was that? What was that? I am so confused. He shell smashed just to take off his stats? Why would you haze and shell smash? 
Like, I make some dumb plays, and you guys know that. Your boy Jeans over here makes some stupid plays, some really dumb plays. Like, to the point where it's just like, why am I watching Jeans? But that, that outdid all my plays ever. That was bad. That was real bad. He just wasted Shell Smash and White Herb. And now leaves his skunk tank out to, out to die. We're gonna, we're gonna sweep this match. This match is over. Well, it's over. Blake's gonna come out here. He's gonna finish off skunk tank. We're gonna go plus one special events. Huge plays. Get out of my face, skunk tank. Get him out of here. And we're just gonna roll out here and kill Pokemon left and right. He had a decent start. He had, he was fine. He had Shell Smash rolling. So he, he, his speed and his attack was boosted. He could have Dynamax next turn and potentially did some work. Probably maybe outsped my Metagross. I'm not too sure. Metagross was in a Tailwind. So it would have been a close speed race. Now Blastoise coming back out here for, for what? What? Now I'm going to just dump on it with the, the big old... Uh, actually, let me taunt you. Let me say, hey. Say, yo, you. Right there. I'm going to just steal Spike over on the... Oh, I cannot... Actually, let's just do this. Just... Actually, what do I want to do? I uh, just... This spike's not very effective. Like a Quake. I'm just going to Quake over onto you. I'm just going to Quake. Get another special defense boost. You might Dynamax Blast, so just, just fine by me. As if he does Dynamax Blast, so it's... Alright! There we go! I was gonna say, if he does if he does Dynamax Blastoids, then we're plus two on special events, but he quits. Perfect, let's go. 3 0, ladies and gentlemen, got that perfect record for you guys. Made two people quit, which is absolutely amazing. You'd love to see it right there. But thank you so much, Justin, for dropping this team. I really do like it. And it's probably one of the better teams I used in a while. It absolutely rocked out. And it was just so easy to play and simple, but it worked out so well. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.